Okay, this is going to be a video on how to downgrade a PlayStation 3 from firmware 3.5. Um, shortly after, I think like maybe maybe even like a day or so, Sony released firmware 3.55. And so if you update to that, basically you're screwed. Just saying that right up front, you can't do anything yet. I'm sure they will figure out something, but for now, you have to be on firmware 3.5, 0, or below. So, um... You could always hack firmware 3.41, that was the first firmware that they had a hack for. So, in order to make this video, like, to, to demonstrate it the best, I'm going to go ahead and update my PlayStation 3 from 3.41 to 3.50, and then using the downgrader to go back. Now, um, at this current time, which is oops, uh, December 12th, 2010, um, this jailbreak death method that I'm going to be using, which is the, the calculated the TI-84+, plus. Um, it does break Blu-ray uh, Blu movie playback, so you won't be able to play your Blu-rays. Um, you'll be able to play your games, but not your movies. So the, the, um, there is a fix for that. Um, there, I think it's called the Eclipse, like E-C-L-I-P-S-3 jailbreak. Um, that does allow you to downgrade with the playback enabled. So until that developers figure out what what's going wrong, you know, with whatever, you're basically kind of screwed out of the Blu-ray movie playback, but I don't know. I don't own any uh, Blu-rays, so it doesn't really affect me. So with those uh, few little disclaimers in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see here, I just have a little flash drive, and I have an update file which is a 3.5. So let's go ahead and update the PS3. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and update to 3.50. I have the update on this um, flash drive, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that into the PS3. Alright, so it's plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and go to update. Well, first I'll show you that I'm running uh, 3.41. Probably see that. There you go. Alright, so now to update to 3.5. Very, very easy. Just go to update via storage media. Version 3.50. So now to update. And it's probably going to give you the EULA and all the user agreements. And uh, that's it. So go ahead and we'll start. Okay, so it's done copying it to the hard drive. So now it'll probably reboot into like the restore menu thing. And there we go, checking for update data. Okay, and now we are installing 3.50. I have to throw this out there. I have no idea how this thing works because usually when I do a system update, it gets to like 50% and reboots and it's done. So the progress bar is like completely like wrong. I don't even know. Let me know in the comments if it's the same for you or whether I just have a malfunct PS3, but it gets to like 50% and then it just restarts, but it's done. It doesn't get corrupted or anything. It, it finishes. But the progress bar goes to like 50% and it reboots and it's fine. So, just throwing that out there. Okay, as you can see right there, it got to 33% and then jumped to 100. Please explain to me how that works. <laughs> okay, there's the cross media bar. Turn the controller on and we should be running 3.5. Okay, there we go. 3.50. Okay, now that I've updated my PS3, the firmware 3.5, I assume this is where most of you guys are. So now this is where the tutorial is going to begin. So um, as you can see, I'm on OS 10, but from Windows, the steps are pretty much the same. So don't feel like intimidated that it's a different OS or something. It's still pretty easy to do. So you're going to need to download a few files. So I'll go ahead and show you those now. The first thing you're going to need is the actual application that runs on the calculator. You're also going to need a folder called DGF, which is downgrade files, and you're going to need a program to install, which is called TI Connect. I'll, I'll provide all three all three links as to where to get these things in the description, so just go ahead and click that. The links are right there. So, but uh, these are what the sites look like. These one, this is the software to actually connect to your calculator. Download it for either Mac or Windows, whichever one you are. This is kind of, this is right where you, um... I got the file from. It links you to here. This is where you get the, um the application that runs on the calculator that actually does the hacking on the PS3 but this is just sort of like a nice reference this PSX scene link so but anyway um, yeah all those links are gonna be in the description so just go ahead and look for those so the first thing you wanna do is install TI Connect 
So if you want to know this tag, all you do is double click it and run that. I already have it installed. So you're going to want to go into TI Connect and you're going to, going to want to run Device Explorer. On Windows it might be slightly different, but I'm sure the steps are remotely the same. So if you see nothing in this window, that's because the calculator is not on. So just go ahead and turn it on. It should be on. And you'll see it right here, TI-84+. Plus. So we're going to go ahead and click this little arrow here. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to extract this. You're going to need a program, um, like WinRAR or something, something that will extract RAR archives, .RAR, RAR archives. If you don't know how to do that, it's a Google search away. It's really easy. You just need an application. So now that that's done, you see a folder here. You want to go into here. And this is the file you're going to need right here, this 8xk file. All you want to do is drop that onto your calculator. As you can see here, I already have one that's renamed. That's I already have one on here, but this is an old version. This was just a jailbreak 3.41. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. This is a much better version. It's updated. So, but now while that's copying, we're gonna go go ahead and go back, and you just want to extract this DGF. DGF stands for downgrade files. So now here's the folder. Go ahead and go into that, and you'll see three other folders. Now these you, you need to put on a um, USB flash drive. Uh, I'm gonna use the same one that I used f to update my PS3. I wiped it clean. There's make make sure you do the same. Make sure there is nothing on here. You have to wipe it clean. So if you have anything on here, make sure it's backed up that you won't lose it, and you'll be good to go. So now what you want to copy to here is th there's a folder called modified 3.41 pup. This is the 3.41 firmware that it will be downgrading to. So you want to go ahead and put that right there. And you also gonna want the lv2diag.self file one. The file 2 will be used later to get it out of factory restore mode. But so you want to take file 1 and put it on the root. Just like that. So now this is almost done. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, make it look nice and pretty. Okay, now you want to go ahead and eject this. And that's pretty much all you have to do. The files are on the calculator, the files are on the flash drive. So now let's keep going. Once you unplug the calculator from your computer, you're going to need to do one thing. On the calculator, go ahead and turn it on. It turns on. There we go. Uh, you want to go ahead and hit the apps button. This is how you get to the actual app. So go ahead and hit apps. My my key just happens to be zero, but you want to go ahead and use the arrow keys here to navigate to where your app is. So go ahead and launch the app. Okay, so you want to go ahead and do that. And then now from this menu, you want to hit five. So go to options. And now use the little arrows here and scroll down. Leave the first two payloads as they are. None. Oops, wrong key. There we go. Go ahead and go to five again. Okay. So go ahead, um, none, none. You can leave that right there. Um, that's only if you want to like downgrade to 3.15 or downgrade from 3.41 stuff like that. So for this purpose, you don't need to touch this. Um, that you can just configure however you want. This is what you need right here: is emulate jig. Yours will probably be set to no. Make sure you set it to yes. That's very important. So now go. You want to go ahead and save that, and then you're basically done. Okay, so I'm at the PS3 here. And the first thing you want to do is just shut it off. Pretty simple. Okay, so now you we want to wait till the PS3 is off. Uh, you could probably see that green LED blinking. Okay, the PS3 is now off. Now, what you want to do here is you want if you have the fat model like I do, you want to go reach in the back and just shut it completely off. If you have the slim model, you just uh, pull the power plug and leave it unplugged for I'd say about five seconds. So while that's unplugged, while that's off, you want to go ahead. You want to go ahead and just uh, plug the calculator in. So I want to turn it on, and now you want to set up the application for use. So go ahead and go to apps. Go ahead and launch the uh, PSV jailbreak application, and you want to go ahead and hit one, and then you should see this. So now that you're done on the calculator, so now go ahead and reach back, turn the PlayStation on. And now like you've all seen, this is time for the power eject. So but that real fast as fast as you can, you'll hear the triple B. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the calculator. We'll see what we get. Okay, as you can see here, it now has updated and it says done. Okay, so now that the PlayStation is off, you want to go ahead and you want to get the USB flash drive that has the two files on it, just those two files. That's very important, just the update in that self file. 
the first one, not the second. You want to go ahead, if you have a pl uh, PlayStation 2 like mine, like the 40 gig, um, you only have two USB ports, but the 60 gig has four. But no matter what, you want this to be in the port on the farthest right. So toward the most towards like the top of the console, that's where you want yours to be. So on mine, I'm going to put it in port 2, which is right there. So now you want to go ahead um, just shut this off again. Just leave it off for a couple seconds. Make sure the calculator is not plugged in. You don't need it anymore. Just put it off to the side. And now so go ahead and turn it back on. And do the usual power eject. And um, I think that's pretty much all you gotta do. Um, you just kind of leave it. It should take about two, three, four minutes. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna write the firmware 3.41 and leave 3.5 in the dust. So if you go ahead and turn it on, I don't believe it does anything. I think it just sits on a black screen. Yes. But if you look over here, hopefully you can see this on the camera. You can see the hard drive light is going off. Hopefully you can see it as well as the USB stick. It glows green while the hard drive light on the PS3 glows orange. That's what you want. That lets you know that it's writing the files to the hard drive. So just let it be. Just let it do its thing. When it's done, the system will shut off. And that's exactly what you want to have happen. So if it shuts down, don't get paranoid. So once that's done, we'll go from there. Okay, the system just shut itself off. So now what you want to do, let's go ahead and see if it worked. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. Make sure that it's just like it is and go ahead and turn it on. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't explode or start smoking or something. It took it a second to start out to go back. And there we go. It's now booting up. So we're still in service mode, but now let's go ahead and see what firmware we're on. 3.41, look at that. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So now that it's downgraded, we have to get it out of service mode. But that's what that other file is for, so now let's go ahead and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we're actually back on firmware 3.41, we have to get out of factory or service mode. So that's really easy to do. All you have to do is open up your flash drive. As you see, we'll have an updated log here. This is just a bunch of stuff that normal people like you and me don't really understand. But this just tells you basically what it did, um, how long it took, all that other stuff. So it doesn't matter. You can delete it. Just go ahead and wipe it clean again. Now you want to take the other file that you downloaded, that pup data self2 file. Go ahead and go to downgrader files, and it's this one. Go ahead and drag this. That should only take like a millisecond. So I want to go ahead and eject that, and back to the PS3 we go. Okay, so now we're on 3.41, and we have the factory service mode. To get out of it, you use what you just made. That self2 file, you go ahead and plug this in. Go ahead and shut the system off. I want to do the same thing that we did last time. Uh, go ahead and shut it off in the back. Just leave it for a couple seconds. Go ahead and turn it back on. Do Go ahead and do power eject. This is all very familiar by now. And this will only take a second. Okay, so the system just shut itself off. So just go ahead and remove the stick. And go ahead and just turn it back on. And that's all there is to it. You've now downgraded your PS3 and gotten it out of factory service mode. So now we'll go ahead and let it run for just a second. We'll go ahead and switch over. That's something I haven't seen before. There we go. Okay. It completely resets everything. There you go. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Alright, but go ahead and go to English using HDMI. Yes, because that resolution makes my eyes want to bleed. So we'll go ahead and hit yes. 
Eastern time. I'll set that later. I don't care. We'll go ahead and set that. CPU kid. And there you go. That's settings list done. I don't care. I'll set up the internet and everything later. I'm not really concerned about that right now. But there you go. The PS3 is booting like normal. Apparently it's midnight, but it's not. <laughs> so now we'll go ahead and we'll go to system settings. Bam. 3.41. There you go. So that's basically it. Um, sort of a complicated tutorial, not really. Uh, just just a few. Well, actually, it's kind of like a lot, but they're very basic steps. Um, hopefully, this video helped you guys. If you're stuck on firmware 3.5, um, I highly suggest you watch this video and like before you do it, don't do it part by part by part. Um, that's basically all I really have to say. If you have any questions or suggestions or whatever, I'm at Twitter or I'm on Twitter. I'm at CPU Kid. Um, I, I take personal messages, I take pretty much any kind of messages, comments. Thumbs up is appreciated if you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, one, more, one more word of mention, um, if you're going to do this, make sure you back up all your save data, make sure you back up all your game data. If you have any music on there, any videos you don't want to lose, plug in an external hard drive, do yourself a favor, back up all your stuff. You don't want to you know, be playing, be two thirds of the way through a game you just bought to downgrade back and realize you lost everything you just did. Everyone hates that feeling, so do yourself a favor, back up all your stuff, and please don't update to firmware 3.55. I know I'm going to have a bunch of people commenting on this video asking, hey, what can I do this for firmware 3.55? It's not out yet. It's just, it's simply not out. That's all. I'm probably not even going to reply to you because it's a Google search away. So for those of you that were stuck on 3.550 wanting to downgrade, here you go. For those on 3.55, you just gotta wait. That's as simple as it gets. I mean, they did the same thing with 3.5. You had to wait a while, but it was worth the wait. So, like I said, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Um, that's pretty much it. So, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.